one. If an application requires user data, we might display the file chooser. Two, since this is an application, we need the app class. The root is based on box layout. The root has one function, select. This will be called from the KV file when the user selects any file. If a file name has been passed to select, it will pass it to the label. Label is defined in the KV file and is an attribute. Three. In the app class, we have to return the root class. 4. In the KV file, we define the outer box layout to have a vertical orientation, and then we start the inner box layout. 5. The inner box layout has a default orientation of horizontal. The first element is a file chooser list view. We first set a background color. The on selection is called when the user selects a particular file by clicking it. It will call the select function. Six. The next element in the box layout is file chooser icon view. We set a background color and route the selected file name to the select function. Seven. Finally, we have a label. It has an ID of label which was used earlier in the attribute definition. It has a small size hint in Y direction, as it will occupy a small portion of the screen at the bottom. We then set a background color. 8. In the result, we can see the two file chooser views, on the top left and top right, which together are about 90% of the screen area. These have different background colors set in the KV file. The label on the bottom indicates currently selected file. 9. You can find additional information including the source code at pythonmobile.blogspot.com.